Hey, it's Felicia Hatcher, a chief popsicle and author of How to Start a Business on a Ramen Noodle Budget and the new focused uh, weekly strategic planner for driven entrepreneurs. And you know, over the years I've been asked the same question over and over again. Felicia, how the hell do you do it all? And you know, the honest answer is I don't know, right? I'm an author, an entrepreneur, a mom, a wife to a really awesome husband and have a lot of projects going on all the time. And for a long time, my answer was I don't know how I do it. And it took the point where I lost a very big contract for Feverish, not because we couldn't do the work, but because I wasn't organi organized enough to just send an email. Send an email. That's all I had to do was send the email. And I had so many things going on, all these notebooks all over the place. A lot of you probably know exactly what I'm talking about. And I had to say, you know what, Felicia, this was a very expensive mistake. I cannot let this happen again. And that's when I started to get organized. And I hadn't even created the planner at the, at the point, but it was the way I aligned my planner and my notes every single week, starting Sunday night, getting very organized, figuring out. And it started with just dumping my ideas out, you know, dumping the things that I knew I had to do for the week. That's what I started to do. The second thing that I started to do was put a dollar sign by every single thing that I knew as soon as I crossed it off my list that it was going to bring me back money. Dollar sign beside the things, the things that I needed to do, the things that were on my to-do list. And that really helped me to start prioritizing on making sure I was doing the, the, the things and spending the time and prioritizing and putting those things at the very top for those things that were going to exponentially grow my business, right? As soon as I crossed it off my list, I knew that a check was in the mail, uh, money was going to come into the account. That's what I knew for sure. And that helped me out immensely. The second thing that I started to do was look at my list and start to prioritize those top things, the three th top things, the three big goals that I had for the week that I was going to get done, that I needed to get done. Uh, and that was essentially on my wish, wish list, right? Of things that I really wanted to focus on for that week. And I would outline those three things. And from that, I'm like, you know what, Felicia, you can't do this all by yourself. Who can help you get those three things done by the end of the week. And I started to put that into a column. Or what could help me, because I love outsourcing, right? Between Fiverr and Elance and Guru and Ruby Receptionist, I, I use it all to help me manage now, but back then I didn't realize that. And that really helped me start to delegate what I could do. And then also understand that, you know, some things are my priority, my responsibility only, and I have to get done. Right, those high-level clients that want those 10 and 20,000 popsicle orders, uh, you know, schools that specifically want to speak to me on the phone, clients that I have and I consult all over the world that specifically want to speak to me, I can't delegate that to anyone else. So outlining what I could delegate and then also outlining what I needed to do uh, personally for myself. The second part, the third part of that was my, my social media output. What content was I putting out to the world? And outlining that, right? I had a blog for myself, I have a blog for Feverish, we have different websites between uh, our company and then the, the community work that we were doing, how to manage that all, and also what was I, exactly was I putting out? Not just random posts when you're sitting on a toilet, but actually what was I putting out and being more strategic about that. So my social media posts, what blog posts, any articles, any podcasts, any um, videos that I was putting out, what was I putting out and having a strategy behind that week to week. The last thing that I, that I did that I plotted out on this sheet that is now a planner that I'm sharing with each and every one of you is my output. Because what I realized, what's happening to us now, but didn't happen to us six years ago when we first started Feverish and all the other things that I've started since, was that you know it was a lot of hoping and wishing that this big client would call or hoping and wishing that this contract would land in my lap. Uh, and it didn't happen that way, right? You had to go out there, pave the, pay, uh, pave, the, pave the road and make things happen. And I realized one of the biggest things with that, because I was meeting a lot of people, but I sucked 
at follow-up. It's something that I've been working on over the years, um, feverishly, right? And I suck, suck, suck at follow-up. And one of the biggest reasons I sucked at follow-up is because I couldn't remember the first time I contacted this person. So I put together a list called your output list. And it's when, when you reach out to this person, what contract, what proposal you sent out, what query letter you've sent out, if you're writing a book, putting that out there and what date I'm going to follow up with them and letting myself know in the next week that I need to follow up with this person because it's been one week, it's been two weeks, it's been three weeks. And that has really helped me see exponential growth, not just as an entrepreneur, but then also an author, as a mom, and then also as a wife. Uh, the second part of the book is, and, and the planner is, you know, the, 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 a schedule, right? What do you have to do week after week? Not just your mornings, your afternoons and nights, but then also your late nights. Because I felt that planners would stop at like six or seven o'clock at night, like nothing goes on. And as entrepreneurs, we know that's really when the day is just getting started, right? Because you're not, not getting as many emails, you're definitely not getting as many phone calls, the, all the good TV shows are gone off, off for the night. So that's really your time of silence to get the work done that really requires a big part of your brain capacity. And you have that silence, right? The baby's in bed, husband's probably asleep or reading a book or whatever, but that is that time that you can get work done. So you plot out what you have to do during that time. And if you consult and you consult clients out of the country like I do quite frequently, hey, I still have to plot in people that I'm speaking to at 11 or 12 o'clock at night because it's eight or nine o'clock wherever they are. So that, I thought that was a very important component that I needed to add to this weekly strategic planner for you. And the second part, uh, and the last part that I love so much is, here, I gotta show it to you, I can't just tell you, but the motivational me messages that you get as a part of this planner that, um, that you see throughout, right? And some of this, if you follow me at all, these are some of my favorite quotes that I either say or that I, people that I follow say, like, um, it doesn't matter if the glass is half empty or full. All that matters is that you are the one pouring the freaking glass, right? Doesn't matter what kind of glass, if it's a wine glass, if it's a coffee cup, whatever. As long as you are in charge and setting your own rules, setting your expectations, and most importantly, doing epic shit. So this is a very long video to explain the weekly planner to you. It's called focus because that's what it's all about. You zeroing in exactly what you want, the goals that you have in your life, um, lighting a candle under your butt and getting it done uh, so that you can start to see exponential growth in your business and in your life. I'm Felicia Hatcher, Chief Popsicle of Feverish Pops, author of some really freaking phenomenal books and the new one, most importantly, the Focus Weekly Strategic Planner for Driven Entrepreneurs. See you soon.